Karim Benzema stormed out of an Al Ittihad training session on Monday and was subsequently axed from the squad for Wednesday night's Saudi Pro League clash with Al Tai. Manager Marcelo Gallardo had ordered Benzema to train alone, but the striker refused his instruction and walked out, as per marker. On Tuesday Benzema was pictured training at the club's facilities, but only with the injured players. Relations between Benzema and the club have soured after he returned to training from the mid-season break 17 days late, leaving his employers furious. A source said they couldn't even establish contact with him for 10 days as he holidayed in Mauritius, although he was reportedly stuck there initially due to a cyclone. He was then excluded from the club's training camp after failing to impress Gallardo. Benzema had crunch talks with the club's hierarchy at the start of February and was touted to leave in January due to being unsettled, but he stayed put. The 36-year-old former Real Madrid striker, who earns £86 million per year, was linked to Premier League sides Manchester United and Chelsea during the window. A rumoured move to Lyon in his native France also fell through, but Benzema is still thought to feel unsettled in the Middle East after his move last summer. Ben Jacobs of CBS Sports said on X that Benzema is engaged in discussions with Al Ittihad this week about clarifying future plans. Jacobs wrote, both Itahad and wider Saudi dealmakers want him to do another season. There was never a green light, or formal request from Benzema, to leave. Leon had explored bringing Benzema back, but it was impossible without a massive wage cut. Itahad sources also insist any bid would have been rejected had it arrived. No concrete EPL offers made to the Saudi champions. Despite winning the Saudi Pro League under Nuno Espirito Santo last season, Al Ittihad have slumped to 7th in the table 25 points off pace setters Al Hilal. Fats despite enormous summer investment, with Benzema, Nigolo Kante, Fabinho, and Jota signing up.